Hey everybody, so Joe Staten has officially left Microsoft. You guys asked me to cover this. What does it mean for Halo? Does it have any impact on us at all? What do you think's happening? What's going on? So here are my thoughts. First of all, Joe Staten hasn't been working at 343 for the last three to four months. It seemed like once he got Halo Infinite's live service where it wanted to be, and the plan for campaign was scrapped by Microsoft, there was really no reason for him to stay at the studio anymore. So he returned back to his Microsoft publishing role. So in terms of Halo, at least in regards to 343, it's going to make little to no difference. Joe, of course, is one of the most prestigious Microsoft employees, spanning all the way back from the original Bungie days. He then joined Microsoft Studios as the Senior Creative Director, and then when Halo Infinite needed help to get it out the door, he joined 343 to help ship Halo Infinite. Now, people have been speculating left and right, as they always do, as what this could potentially mean. He didn't just say that he was leaving. In a tweet he posted, Joe said the following, Hey folks, I am indeed leaving Microsoft. I'll have more information to share soon, but for now, I'd just like to thank all of my Xbox colleagues for all of their understanding and support as I embark on a new adventure. Now, I had people in my Twitch chat speculating, what if he does a certain affinity, just like what Max Hoberman has done, and starts up his own gaming studio that isn't affiliated with Microsoft, and he gets the old band back together, the old Bungie crew, he gets Marty O'Donnell to do the music. Wouldn't that be amazing? Of course, that would be the best case scenario. He may be done with video games altogether. We really have no idea. It's even possible that Joe could go out and create his own universe, a different story that he's been working on. And I'll be honest, I would play the hell out of that. That would be awesome to see. It's even possible, although unlikely, that he may go back to Bungie and work on Destiny. Since Microsoft isn't affiliated with Bungie and Destiny is more on PlayStation, it really could be anything. Now, it is no mystery and it's no secret that Marty O'Donnell does not like Microsoft, but he has said he would work on Halo music in the future for certain projects that he likes. It would not be out of the realm of a possibility. Just once, I would like the stars to align. And for a brand new Halo story, written by Joe Staten, with Marty O'Donnell's music, with the old Bungie developers who are passionate about writing a story and creating a multiplayer that is loved by millions. And that doesn't take away from 343 at all. I think it's even better. Multiple studios creating multiple Halo games to flesh out the universe that there is so many stories to tell. Whether it be multiplayer or campaigns, there are so many different ways that Halo can be shown off. And I think up until this point, it's never been fully utilized. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to wait until Joe shares what his future plans are. In any case, and regardless of what comes next, I think we all owe him a big thank you for how much time, effort, and hard work he has put into Halo over the years, over 20 years on this series we all love. And for that, he deserves our thanks. So that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Let me know what you think Joe Staten is going to go do next. I look forward to reading your comments. And in case he watches this video, leave some nice comments for him as well. For me personally, thank you, Joe, for everything you have done on Halo. You shaped the childhood of millions of people. And for that, we're so very grateful. With all of that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.